this is the workspace bar up here. I mean, normally you would call this a panel, but it's, a panel works by you can a panel means you can rip it out and put it someplace else, but you can't grab this and rip it out and move it someplace else. It just resides up here in this bar. Like this is a toolbar here, but you can rip that out. So, can you? Yeah, there it goes. So you can't rip that out, but I don't think you can rip out the um, this panel here. I haven't found any way to do that, so I'm pretty sure that's stuck there. So this shows you the um, workspaces, and it shows three. And that may not be all that you want to work with. I'm working in the standard here, right? But there are other ones as well. So what's the deal here? Well, a couple things is, one, you can expand the view to multiple workspaces. Now I've got, what, seven or eight? OK. So you can drag this divider there to show as many as you want. But three is the default. Then you have this, each one of these three has its own little panel menu there that you can say, OK, I'm going to go back to the, I'm going to go back to the re previous version. So for example, let's say I just changed the size of a panel here like this. I go up to standard, I could say, let's revert back. So reset to the save layout, it'll go back to that one. If I decide that I, I make a change and I want to create a custom one, I don't need to go to, let's say, window, workspace, uh, save as new workspace. It's kind of a long process, right? Now I just click one of these little drop down things here and say, save as a new workspace. And I give it a name down here. So let's change there. And if you, you can edit the workspaces, and this little guy here allows you to say which workspaces you want to appear on the bar. You can drag these around. That's how you do that. Which ones do you want to be in the overflow? That's off here to the side. But again, the overflow on the bar depends on how far you pull this out. And then there's some that you don't even want showing at all. And you can choose them as well. You can drag them down, for example. All right, cancel out of that. Show you one thing here. Go to uh, all panels. This is a new feature. This is called stacked panels. It, notice if I, I click this and close that down and click that, close that down. There are all these panels stacked up here. If I want to look at one, I click on it. If I look at another, it's showing both of them, which is not the default behavior. I'll, I'll undo that. I'll go back to the default behavior. The default behavior is to see one at a time. And the way you go to the default behavior is clicking on this little panel button there. And it'll be. Uh, panel group settings, and solo panels and stack. That's the default behavior. So when you look at this, you'll probably see, OK, I click on that, and it closes the other one. There's effects and presets, and I click on a line, and it closes whatever was there before. That's the default behavior for the stacked panels. And I'm not a real big fan of the stacked panels, but it's kind of a cool feature to see all of them. And if you want to open up more than one, you can just Alt or Option click on it, and that'll open up two things at once. There's effects and presets and audio like that. But I prefer putting panels inside panels. So I'm going to go back to standard here. And I'm going to reset the standard to that. And for example, um, I like to have um, my character panel and my uh, paragraph panel in the same panel. So if I go over here and go window, character, that'll add this character panel. And if I want to add the paragraph panel, I go window, paragraph, and that puts it down separately, but I can drag it inside here. Whoops, let me go drag it again there like that. Drag it inside like that, and I can put the paragraph panel inside with the character panel as well. So all kinds of ways to you know, customize your workspace. And the, the new thing is the stacking panels and this.